What is good with y'all? So here is how the Madden 08 Redskins franchise standings finished out for the regular season. The Chargers were the top dogs at 14-2, and two, and you can see who made the playoffs and who did not. I believe the Browns are the worst team in the league at 4-12, and 12, but don't quote me on that. The Rams got home field advantage. We got the second seed, and the Falcons are three, Vikings are four, and then the uh, uh, Seahawks and the Eagles are your wild cards. Actually, excuse me, the Lions are the worst team in the league at 3-13. and 13. And they went 0-16 in 2008, so that was fairly accurate. Jason Campbell is a pro bowler as of now, which is surprising. But yeah, Jason Campbell turned into a pro bowler. Like, what is this? But you know what? I mean, I guess that's a testament to us. We didn't have a 1,000-yard receiver, but Randy Moss and Santana Moss held it down to an extent. I mean, I don't expect us to be having 5,000 yards receiving or, like, yeah, I don't expect Jason Campbell to pass for 5,000 yards and then have our receivers go off. I just don't expect that to happen. It is what it is. Prelude held it down with the sack. Sean Taylor was the man on defense. He was all over the place making plays. But, yeah, we did have quite a few defensive touchdowns this year, so I'm not going to complain. And, yeah, we got some veteran leadership in London Fletcher. You know, that kind of held it down. So this is a good team, man. We finished 12-4, and one of the better teams in the league, actually. I think we were... Yeah, because the Chargers were 14-2, and two, and then I think us, the Rams, and maybe, I don't know, there was another team in the uh, AFC that went 12-4. and four. But yeah, here's how our stats look compared to everyone else in the league. Peyton Manning had the most yards. And then here's the top few for each position. Peyton Manning with the most touchdown passes, and it looks like he has the most picks too. 28 picks is quite a lot. And, yeah, he has the most picks. Alex Smith is right behind him. Same with Jay Cutler and J.P. Lossman. Tom Brady's up there, too. Yikes. But, yeah. It looks like Carson Palmer's a little banged up. Not looking good for the Bengals. Especially going into the playoffs. I mean, if we were to draw them in Super Bowl, I wouldn't complain. If Palmer is hurt, at least. I don't want him at full strength. You saw what they did to us at full strength, those Bengals. But, yeah. Looks like Matt Schaub's offensive line is holding down an LT, the man, the myth, the legend, averaging five yards a carry. Michael Vick with about 11 yards per carry, but, you know, he's a quarterback. That's a little different. Yeah, LT, 19 touchdowns, over 2,400 yards, easily breaking the single-season rushing record. I think someone else had 2,100 yards, too. That's pretty impressive. But, yeah. Yep, Ronnie Brown, that is. Does not surprise me, Ronnie Brown's been balling on this series. And yeah, now we go to receivers. Reggie Wayne and Torrey Holt holding it down for the most part. And then you got these guys falling behind. Looks like Roy Williams and Deion Branch. Plaxico Burris had 13 touchdowns himself. Terry Glenn had a lot of touchdowns. Aging wonder over at uh, Kansas City now. He left. David Givens is balling out. You know, that was a lot of potential there if he didn't have his injuries, I think, back in the day. I think that's what really hindered his success. But, yeah, Pearson Prelude tied for second in the league with the sacks. Sean Taylor leading the league with picks. The longest intercession, Sean Considine. I'm pretty sure he took that to the crib. I'm not sure. And, yeah, we got a couple guys who got multiple defensive touchdowns. Congratulations, guys. It's pretty impressive. And now we're going to go to kicking. Sebastian Janikowski did have a solid season there. He is 29 of 30 with the long being 57. No one kicked a longer field goal than Mr. Janikowski. Reggie Bush holding it down in the return game. And the punt return game looks like MJD is holding it down, that Hopkins guy. But, yeah, that's how that league looks. And here's the wild card matchups. Titans, Texans, Seahawks, Falcons, Chiefs, Patriots, and Eagles, Vikings. And we will get the highest seed that wins out from the wild card games. And here's how the results look. The Titans defeat the Texans. Falcons defeat the Seahawks. Patriots defeat the Chiefs and the Vikings.